Welcome to the Fall of the Rising Sun Ultimate Project. Some assembly required cauldron, and here we're going to create version 0.53. The first thing we're going to have to do is unzip uh, Prop Beanie's uh, file here to actually turn it into a JSGME compatible file. So here we are rendering. Show. No, don't do that. Now we've got the directory there. Well, let's look into it and just see exactly how it's uh, put together and if we need to do anything. Here's our current thing here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put the reference cards in the base directory of the mod so people know where to find them. And we're going to delete the campaigns directory. Kill it because Prop Beanie told us to. And now we'll go back to the cauldron and take a look at Prop Beanie's. And he's got a delete me, read me, so delete me, read me has to be read. Uh, no ships. That's good. Uh huh. And we've combined the 1.3 and 2.0 uh, readme rich text files by the aces of the deep. That's a good thing. Super super. Submarine school is new. We like it terrain folder with Pearl Harbor depth. That's a work in progress, but the improvements were good enough to, him to include it here. So you don't have Bernie ships and Kaleidi ships and all kinds of weird things like that. And so we'll close this and actually delete the delete me read me. Yes, delete the delete me read me. Now we're ready to go. Checking here. No, I don't do that. That would be bad. Double click and double check what you just did, dummy. <laughs> That's absolutely no good. Let's undo that. Thank you. Back out. Now let's do it right. Look, there it is. Okay, we'll go in there. Now we'll copy the data and support directories. Copy to. Select. There we go. Just a little bit nicer than the way Windows does it. And replace any files that need replacing. Zippity doo da. And now we have the latest campaign stuff in there. Let's do a little bookkeeping here. Just a little look into the way I get things done, or don't get things done around here.
just love the way Nautilus works under Ubuntu on the file manager. Uh, if Windows would just copy a couple of things, they would be fine. And we're just going to delete that folder because we already have moved the zip file. And now let's do some work on the mod itself here. First rename it. Because it is now 5.3. Come on. Rename. Alrighty. And we got to enter there. Let's change the title screen. I'll show you how I do that. There's enter logo background. But first we will load up the template. The XCF is a GIMP file. So up it comes. Multi-layered piece of wonderfulness. Uh, click on the uh, text editing thing. Just highlight the two, type three. And now it's, now it's good. We'll save it. And now we have to flatten the image in order to uh, export the uh, DDS file. So that's why we just saved it. Okay. Now we'll export as. Okay. And click on Interlocal Background DDS. Eventually. Export. Replace. No compression and all that. Close this whole baby down. Got to discard those changes, otherwise you lose your layers in the master layer. And uh, suddenly you can't edit the text anymore, which is a nasty thing to find out. Don't ask me how I know. We are back here. And uh, our job is done here.